and it just happened to be made out of milk glass because that's what the universe chose. And it was like, you know what, Jocelyn, we're going to throw you a bone and we're going to throw you a bone made out of milk glass. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. <laughs> All right, well, it's a little bit later tonight than we normally film, but we've got a haul video to film tonight. So we're gonna talk about everything that we got in the past two days worth of shopping videos where we will all on our lonesome. Uh, we actually went to two Goodwill stores and a Community Aid. And Community Aid is, it's a local thrift store chain here in our central Pennsylvania area. Um, so we're gonna talk about um, everything that we got, what we paid for it, and how much we can expect to get for it on eBay. So I'm gonna put our total spend at Goodwill up in the corner here, both of the Goodwills. We'll just combine the Goodwills because at the first Goodwill, we didn't really find a whole lot. I was kind of optimistic because the last time we went to this specific Goodwill, we found this really amazing West Germany vase and come to find out after my friend watched the video she texted me and she's like you know I donated that vase right and I'm like what <laughs> yeah she donated the vase I bought the vase and so the vase lived with her and now it lives with me but it was her vase and <laughs> now it's mine so that was kind of a funny story um but <laughs> it was not the case this time we did not have very much luck at all um, and this goodwill particularly I had actually crossed off my list and said I'm never going back there last time we got the Germany vase and I was like okay so maybe it's not that bad but it really is um, it, there's really not a whole lot on the shelves so <laughs> we're gonna talk about what we got there at that goodwill um, since that was our first stop we did get a couple things for ourselves, which I don't actually have out on the table, but we got these lamps. Now what attracted me to these lamps were this wooden part right here, believe it or not. Um, this is like a vintage, this is kind of a vintage clue right here. A lot of these old vintage lamps have this, this teak wooden part right here. Now unfortunately, I believe that these were painted. A lot of the times these would come in white. The white and the teak usually sell for between $45 and $65. These are brown, and I almost suspect that somebody painted them. But looking at the base, they don't actually look painted, so I don't know if they're just wearing. I think the paint is wearing off, unfortunately. So because of the wear on these, I actually have two. I'm, I'm talking plural because if you didn't see the shopping video, I bought two. I paid a... Uh, three dollars a piece for those i think because of the wear i could probably expect to get 45 to like 58 dollars for the pair even with the wear on them i think if somebody were to um rehabilitate rehabilitate them they could probably um repaint them and make them a fun or funky color i think they would look really cool in like a yellow very retro and and i just think there's so many possibilities with those lamps, um, <laughs> but I really like them. And for three bucks a piece, I could not leave them behind. So grabbed the lamps. That was at the first Goodwill. I also grabbed this, which I think is mostly just uh, for mail. It probably hangs on the wall, unfortunately. The little bracket in the back has come undone, but that's an easy fix. What I liked about it is that it is hand painted and is actually signed by the artist. Um, so it's a pileated woodpecker. I probably pronounced that wrong. Uh, and I can't actually read the artist's name. But the artist was actually pretty good. And I like birds, as you know. And so I was attracted to this. And I thought it was a nice little nail thing for the wall. So I grabbed this. Um, for this, I could expect to get, I don't know, $18 to $24. I think what else we got at that Goodwill because I think that might be it. Uh, I also got a uh, shadow box that I am keeping for myself. If you watched the video, you saw that. And also a magazine rack that had an eagle on it for Andrew. And 
Um, I think that's really it. Oh, and a little owl wine stopper that Ashton found. You know, he loves glass. He found that and he's like, mom, can I have this? I'm like, um, no. <laughs> it's a wine stopper, Ashton. You don't need that. <laughs> but he loves glass, so he was, he was very interested in that piece. <laughs> anyway, so the second Goodwill that we went to was a little bit better. It wasn't a lot better, but it was a little bit better. We bought this figurine here. Now this figurine is more than likely either Japanese or Chinese. It is made to look like a Dresden figurine, the Dresden lace. Um, a lot of the times you'll come across these figurines and they have this, this lacy texture and they are just elaborate. Um, but, but the quality of a Dresden lace figurine is just so outstanding that you just can't mistake them for anything else. The quality of this figurine is not to that standard, so looking at it, you can tell that it is not a Dresden figurine. It is just a Chinese or Japanese figurine that is made in the style of a Dresden figurine. I paid a dollar for this. I would expect to probably get, I want to say, 10 to 15 for this because the lace is nowhere chipped, which is very rare when you find figurines like this, whether they are Japanese, Chinese, German, the lace is always chipped, almost always. The lace is not chipped on this figurine, which I was kind of surprised. I like took a real close look at it at the store because that is rare not to find any chipping on, on the lace at all. So that's a good piece. Uh, also at that Goodwill, we got this box. Now when I picked this up, my initial thought was that was modern. It's marked China on the back. And Drew said the same thing. He saw it and he thought that's modern. And I opened it up and showed him the date. And so then he was second guessing himself as well. And that's what made me bought it because if I hadn't seen the date on it, I probably would have left it there. But because the date 1947 is on there and it is 1947, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this to focus because of the ring light, but you can see Clearly, the date is 1947. Um, it's not 1997, it's 1947. <laughs> so, because that date was on it, that's why I bought it. But otherwise, I would have left it. <laughs> I didn't think it was that old. I'm still not sold on the fact that it's that old. It could be more modern and somebody just scratched the date 1947 in it. I don't know why but I will probably just sell it as a vintage trinket box and not include the date. But anyway, we have a train coming. I'm gonna pause it and then I'm gonna tell you how much I would expect to get for the trinket box. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> All right, so for the little trinket box, I would expect probably to get 15 to $20 for this because the inlay work is nice and because it's a nice trinket box. The hinges are good. I mean, it does have 1947 scratched in it, but I like, I like it. All right, um, from that same Goodwill, we bought this. Um, this is just a little oil lamp. It actually has a mark on the dial, but I don't know what that means. Um, I believe this is probably made in Japan not positive on that and i'm not an expert on these lamps at all people always ask me about oil lamps and i'm you know i could tell you about mid-century lamps all day but oil lamps no clue <laughs> um for this lamp though i would expect between 18 and 24 dollars for this it is a nice little dainty milk glass lamp with flowers on it and they are transfer I can see little dots from the transfer on there. So it's not hand painted, but it, it does have a floral design on it. So it's nice. It would, it's like a little, I like, I like the milk glass and the florals. I don't know. It's the thing. I don't like milk glass, but I like my milk glass with florals, but we'll get, we'll get to the milk glass where I totally, um, yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> Um, okay, also at the Goodwill, we got this mug. It's our Tennessee mug. 
you know, with the guy who's drinking lots of moonshine because that's what everybody in Tennessee does. Please don't get mad at me. I'm just talking about the mug. Um, I know that's not the case. So I, uh, I scratched off the bottom. I paid a dollar for this. I scratched off the, the tag and it's made by Federal Glass Company. It is a milk glass mug. There are no chips or cracks on this. This piece I would probably expect to get 15 to $18 for this. Uh, there are a few other buy it nows listed, but none are yellow. There's like green and it's you can't really see the design because it's green and the green with the black just doesn't really do it. But I like this. I like this mug. I think it's cool. Even if it didn't say Tennessee, even if it was just a dude drinking moonshine, I, I would be like, this is the best mug ever. Um, all right, what else did we get there? Oh, we got this. So this is made by Savoy China. That is the name of the company that makes this. I think I'm almost positive. Uh, almost positive. Uh, it is, I do believe, it looks like a pitcher, but I think it is a vase. And it sells for between 12 to $18. It doesn't sell for a whole lot, but what I liked about it was it reminded me of Royal Hager. So I grabbed it and it's not Royal Hager. It is Savoy China. All right, um, where are we next? What are we talking about next? I think that's everything that we got at that Goodwill. I'm looking around. Um, yes, okay, so that is everything that we got at the Goodwills. And now it is time to move on. Oh wait, I lied. Put this at the Goodwill. It is a planter and it does have a mark on the bottom. It says USA. Ah, California. California, USA. And it's just a planter. I liked it. I liked the colors. It's a lighter than I usually like. I usually, you know, and, and some people had asked in the comments, like, well, what does that mean? But that, you know, if it's lighter, is it not as better quality? Um, in some cases, I judge it that way, but that's really a matter of preference. A lot of the stuff that I buy and that I pick and you know the advice that I give you is is my personal preference and a lot of people take it like as gold but you know I you know a lot of the stuff is my preference there's a lot of pickers that love the modern stuff and make a lot of money on the modern stuff and that's just not my thing this is my thing I like the vintage I like the antiques I steer clear of the modern stuff I go with what I know and it works for me and you don't have to do that but but the weight of things it's it's a it's a gauge for me and I use that um, the weight of that is not as heavy as I would like but it's a thing for me I don't know oh wait I almost forgot George <laughs> oh my gosh how could I forget George we just had coffee together this morning on Instagram um I've named it his name is George uh, a lot of people in the comments, if you didn't watch the shopping video, a lot of people in the comments were like, hey, that looks like an urn. That That's definitely an urn. And so I had left it in my car since I bought it. I bought it and then I just kind of left it in the trunk of my car. And then it was like, oh, I got to take everything out of the back of my car. And I was unloading my car. And I'm like, oh, Andrew, isn't this funny? Everybody's saying that this is an urn and there might be ashes in it. That's so funny, isn't it? And so like I'm standing there and I take the table off and I look inside and there's like seriously some ashy white stuff in there. It sure does look like ash to me. I don't know. It sure looks like ash to me. There's a lot of people saying it isn't. I don't know one way or the other, but I'm going to dispose of it in a very respectful way. Um, one that George would probably approve of. I think maybe under the tree, I'm just gonna shake it out under the tree. I really love, I really love the urn and I don't wanna get rid of it. Um, but I think George needs to go live under the tree. I'm sorry, George. I'm just going to take your urn and let you go live under the tree. I'll plant some flowers around him or something. Um, so I'm going to keep that for myself. I paid $5 for George. 
and I'm going to continue to refer to the urn as George for everyone that comes to my house and they're all gonna be like, why did you name it George? And then I'll have a story to tell them. <laughs> okay, so, um, gosh. And I know people who have actually bought urns full of cremated remains, like just completely full. Mine just has a little bit in the bottom, if that's what it is. It's still up for debate, according to YouTube um, and Instagram. But anyway, so from the Goodwill, we moved on to community aid. I'm going to put our total spend up here because I've already peeled some of the tags off of the stuff that we got at the community aid, so I can't tell you exactly what we spent on some of this stuff. Um, but I'm going to go over that stuff real quick. So we bought these... They're flower, flower pots, I guess. Uh, they are marked Italy. They are just pottery. They are painted. Unfortunately, when I grabbed them, I did not notice that they do have chipping around the edge, unfortunately. I did list them as is in my listing title and again in the description and made sure that everybody knows, yes, there is chipping on the edge, but it's either I do that or I donate them back. <laughs> And if somebody's going to appreciate them who's watched my videos, that's what I'm going to do. So I started them at $2, I think, really low. Um, but those are already on eBay. Now let's see, what else do we get? Um, we also got this bowl. And now this bowl has me a little stumped. A lot of people suggested that it was haul. And I think, uh, let's see, is that a mark on the bottom? Maybe. Ah, uh, it's very faint. I think maybe it is. Uh, with, with the lines on the side, the way they are, it does kind of remind me of Hall. And I don't think that would be too far-fetched. But I cannot find another one like this, so I don't think that I can just go come right out and say it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't know if it's a mixing bowl, if it would have been part of a set. But it's kind of this light green, like a minty green color. I really like it and then we get back to the weight I really like the weight of it I like that it's heavy it, it feels good it's a good weight it's a good balance it's a good bowl no no chips no cracks so it's a lovely bowl uh, now we're gonna talk about this now this is just a little souvenir cup it says Hawaii it's got flowers on it it's got a little tiki guy it's got a beach scene Definitely vintage, probably a souvenir piece. It is a Majolica, um, but I liked it. I liked it because it's Majolica and because it had the Tiki Man on it. I love stuff with Tiki guys on it. Now this plate is actually painted in Bavaria. So it took peeling off our sticker to figure that out. Um, this one was $2, and I think there's actually a mark underneath the Bavaria, so unless this is like a valuable mark, if this is, you know, something worthwhile, I would expect this to probably sell for between $18 to $24, unless it's something special. But I don't know what the mark is, I'm just looking at it, so I can put it. This piece, on the other hand, I really like this piece. And they put the sticker down here instead of over the mark. Uh, this is Narutaki, so this is Japan. Paid $5 for this piece. This piece I would expect to sell probably in the same range. Between 18 and 24. I love that green, that green just totally pops. That's what I liked about that. And this is hand painted without a doubt. You can actually see the brush strokes. So, that green is fantastic. Uh, we got some mugs. We got these Mikasa mugs. They're holiday mugs. They've got pine cones and poinsettias on them. Uh, I believe I bought three of these. Uh, they would probably sell for five bucks a piece. So I'm looking at like $15 for these. I don't know how much I paid for them because there's no price tag on them and I'm pretty sure I didn't peel the price tag off either so who knows maybe they were free 
I don't even know where the third one is. Oh wait, it's right in front of my face. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Now, my favorite piece from the entire shopping trip. And you guys are gonna laugh because I broke my own rule. I seriously did. But even Andrew came over and looked at the table and he hadn't seen the video and he didn't know what I bought. And he said, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. And so I think I won. Yes, milk glass. But I have never seen a piece of milk glass like this before. And so I had to have it. Um, this piece right here, I believe is a, an ashtray. A lot of people were suggesting that it was a spoon, spoon rest, but I'm pretty sold on the ashtray idea. I found one other one listed. It was blue glass. It was listed as Fenton. I'm pretty sure it's not Fenton. I, I would think, and this is just a guess, if I had to guess the maker, I would guess Viking or Ellie Smith, but I don't know. I honestly don't know who makes this. I just love the lines of it. I love the shape. It's very mid-century modern. It's such a sleek design. It's abstract. It's just, it's perfect in every single way. And there's no chips or cracks. When I saw this on the shelf, I totally geeked out. I'm not gonna lie. If it was made out of wood, if it was made out of glass, no matter what this piece was made out of, it spoke to me. And it just happened to be made out of milk glass because that's what the universe chose. And it was like, you know what, Jocelyn? We're gonna throw you a bone, and we're gonna throw you a bone made out of milk glass. Okay, universe, I'll take it. <laughs> um, so anyway, I am not sure how much this piece would go for. I have searched on eBay. I have searched on Worth Point. I don't know. I just don't know. So I think I paid $6 for this. It was a little bit steep, but it was totally worth it. <sighs> I guess eBay will determine how much this goes for. But um, I'm excited. And if you guys have any information about this, feel free to drop it in the comments. Because I would love to know. If you know who makes it, let me know. Because if I ever come across another one, I would love to be able to say it. I know who makes this because one of my viewers was like, but um, anyway, this is everything that we got in the past few days worth of shopping. And I think we did pretty good. I mean, there at the end, community aid really came through and that's the community aid that I'm always like, oh, I hate this community aid. I never do any, never do well at this community aid. Um, <laughs> well, they came through for us with that milk glass bird. So I gotta give them some props. They did all right. And uh, you know, that's actually my local community aid. That's like the one in the town that I live in. The one that you usually see me filming at is the one that's like 50 minutes away from me. And I drive there to film because that's where all the good stuff is. So, so uh, yeah, I think we did all right. But anyway, I am going to end this video here. I'm gonna go edit this video and I'm gonna get some rest and I will see you all tomorrow, later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you've spotted something that you just can't live without, don't worry. I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description.